the number one thing that I get asked on my channel is um, like my hair care routine and I actually have a video or had a video up on my hair care routine but I'm going to kind of go over it again because um, I also want to address how to grow your hair out and I think that kind of my hair care routine and how to grow your hair out is kind of the same topic because that is what I'm trying to do. Um, I know I have long hair but I really want like really really long like Kim Kardashian hair. I know it's fake but I want it to be my real hair. Um, so yes, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you kind of what I do and don't do it to my hair and the products that I am using on my hair. Some of them have changed recently. Um, a lot of them are the same, um, but this is just kind of what you're going to want to do if you want to grow your hair out. So, do not wash your hair every day. Now, that kind of sounds gross in relation to skin, like sleeping all over nasty hair, but in the same respect, don't sleep all over your nasty hair. Like, don't wash it every day because you strip the oils, the natural oils that are healthy and keep your hair shiny out of your hair. Now, some of you might be saying like, but Nicole, I get really greasy hair. You can actually retrain your scalp to not produce as much oil. It just takes a little while. Um, you're going to have to do it for a little while before your scalp gets used to like, oh, I, my hair is, I'm not going to get washed until like three days from now and it'll get used to it. I can stretch my hair sometimes up to five days without washing it now. Um, typically, I'm about three days, maybe four, but if I need to or I feel like, you know what, I just really want to give my hair a boost, I will wait up to five days. Um, and it can get pretty nasty by the fifth day, but sometimes it's not that bad. Sometimes I'm washing it on the fifth day and I'm like, dude, I could have lasted another day. I still take showers. I'm just talking about actually washing your hair with the products. Now, um, in terms of you know not sleeping on dirty, nasty hair, you want to get your hair off of your face. Now, a lot of you guys ask me, how come your hair is always curly? This is the reason why my hair is always curly because I don't like to wash it often. So what I will do um, is I will get out of the shower when I wash my hair, let it air dry um, if I have the time, which most of the time I do because I don't wash my hair unless I have the time to let it air dry 95% of the time. Let it air dry and then I will take a large curling iron, iron about one and one quarter inch, um, and I will curl my hair in like opposite directions. Um, I have a video that I don't know, apparently a lot of people didn't like, but that's what I do to my hair called how to curl your hair. That's what I do to it. Um, and I will curl it. And at night when I'm sleeping, I will take my hair on the top of my head and I will twist it into a bun and I will either do a claw clip if I have one that's better because it doesn't tear as much and it's just easier to maintain the actual bun shape. But if I don't have one, then I will use a hair tie around my hair. I just find the hair tie can kind of tear at the hair sometimes or leave a dent. Um, and the like rounded claw clip tends to not do that. So that to be said, if I have my hair straight and I try to do the bun on the top of my head, in the morning, my hair's kind of ruined. It's not really straight anymore. It's not really wavy. It's like this funky, I don't know. But when it's wavy and it's curly in the first place, when I pull it in the bun and I take it down the next day, it just looks the same as it did before, but sometimes even better, like more bouncier because it sat directly on the top of my head for like eight plus hours. Um, and yeah, which brings me to my next topic. Sleep. You need sleep. You need sleep for your hair, you need sleep for your skin, and most importantly, you need sleep for your sanity. So um, sleep is so important. But typically between the 8 to 10 hour range is pretty good for me to feel good. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. So yeah, is the amount for me to feel good and rested and um, healthy. But I have heard from somewhere that actually when you are sleeping, is the is it's like, um, I don't remember, actually, I don't know if this is sleep or eating raw vegetables. <laughs> Either way, those are both good for you. But um, it was something along the lines of like, it's the only time when your body is creating more cells than are dying. So it's actually legitimately reversing time, like anti-aging. But I don't remember if it was eating raw veggies or sleeping. So that quote was kind of pointless, but both are good for you, so do both. And that brings me to the second tip that is equally as important as not um, washing your hair every day and applying heat to your hair every day. eating a healthy diet full of as much fresh real food as possible. Fruits, vegetables, um, you know, like salads and smoothies and um, whole wheat in the form of like whole grain breads, um, whole grain cereals, um, just whole grain, rice obviously, quinoa, um, all that stuff. So you want to have a good, healthy, rounded meal. Now if you are 
a vegetarian or a vegan, you're going to need to get vitamin B um, multi supplement, like with or complex, a B complex, because vitamin B it stabilizes your hormones. It's good for your hair. It's good for your skin. You need that vitamin B supplement. But just eat a healthy diet. Lots of water. It's very very important. I don't use mousses. I don't really use hairsprays. I can have a bottle of hairspray for like a year. Like I don't use it unless I'm doing some type of updo or it's windy outside and I pull my bangs back and I want to just like spray them to keep the flyaways in place. I don't use many products in my hair and I don't, I don't get build up because I don't put many products in there. So I leave it alone. So now um, I think that that's very important, the heat and the product, the excess products. But I do believe in lots of moisture on the same fence. I don't know if that's the right word, same fence. I believe in lots of moisture, but starting with a clean base. So when I shampoo my hair, guys, I don't just go and wash it out. I like fully like massage my scalp all over for like as long as my hands can handle, which is not that long. But like sometimes like 30 seconds to a minute maybe. I don't know. I don't have a grasp of time. But I massage my head for a long time to really get it in there. And then I'll like take the soap from my roots and just run it down the rest. So I won't like rub my ends. I'll just let it run down the rest and then wash it out. Now, on the products. The shampoo that I have been using recently, um, I tried the Organics Cherry Blossom shampoo last month and I really, really liked it. Uh, but now I'm kind of into trying other shampoos and seeing what's out there. And uh, this one I like even more. And you guys may see this again in my favorites video because I'm liking it so much. And it is the Desert Organics Hair Care Coconut Shampoo and it's nourishing for dry hair. Right there. I'm loving it because not only does it smell like coconut, yummy, uh, but it lathers so well like I've ne <laughs> never had a shampoo make my hair so like <sighs> like with bubbles um but the cool thing is it is 100% vegan it is wheat and gluten free there are no parabens in this no sodium laurel or laureth sulfates um no artificial colors silicones and there are no petroleum based ingredients so that's the cool thing about this I don't understand how the heck it lathers so much like a regular commercial shampoo but it doesn't have any of those ingredients in it so it smells amazing I'm loving this shampoo now the conditioners this is where the rest of my routine has really changed so yeah um, I have tried some other conditioners and I keep coming back to this my holy grail conditioner is the matrix essentials sleek look conditioner I've been using this for about four years now I have never found another conditioner that works on my hair like this one does um, I have like, and I'm, I'm weird. I was looking for like my holy, holy grail conditioner since I was like six. Like I remember being a little kid having the hardest time brushing my hair out. So I've always been on the lookout for a good conditioner. Now, granted, I do use this in conjunction every single time I shower. I'll use this first and then I will use this. And this is the Aussie three minute miracle deep conditioner. But I have to say as a disclaimer, neither of them by themselves work as well. They both work incredibly well, but if I just use one and not the other, either way, it's not the same effect. I have to use both and I only use the conditioner from about my ear down. I don't put it on my roots. I don't want my roots to get greasy. I let my hair go for like five days, so I don't want to put any extra grease up there. Every once in a while, when my hair is feeling dry, I will use this black vanilla leave-in conditioner by Carol's Daughter. I haven't used that much. I've had it for about two or three months, but I only use it when I feel like my hair really needs it. Because like I said, I don't like putting extra products really in my hair when, um, once I get out of the shower, I like kind of doing everything in my shower. And I leave this in longer, by the way, guys, for like, I leave it in for like 10 minutes or I don't even know, a long time. Now, internally, also guys, you can take some vitamins. You can take um, some flaxseed oil. Oils are very good for the hair. You can take folic acid. You could take a B supplement. You could take, I mean, all of it helps. Vitamin C, vitamin D. Um, but you can kind of consult a, I mean, I may do a vitamins video at some point. I don't know. But you can consult a um, vitamin store, a local vitamin store, and speak to someone in the store who's maybe more knowledgeable and they can kind of help you find something that might be good for you with your hair. You might be deficient in something. Um, but I can do a video on kind of what I take if you guys want me to at some point. So, okay, my phone is ringing, my husband is calling me, that is about it. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Daily Booth, all my other channels. Please subscribe there, link down below. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.